hello and welcome back to my channel my name is Jessie and I am a young mum of a toddler and I'm currently pregnant with our second baby I'm just gonna jump straight into this video because I have a lot to talk about and I don't want it to be three hours long so today I am talking all things cloth nappies cloth nappy 101 or cloth diapers if you're from America same thing I'm from Australia so we call them nappies so this will be ideal for you if you're just starting out with cloth nappies if you're pregnant and you're thinking about doing cloth nappies this is the video for you I'm gonna be going over everything over brands why we do cloth nappies the benefits of cloth nappies I'm gonna also talk about cloth wipes because we do that as well as well as wash routines and how to figure out your wash routine and everything so why did we choose to cloth nappy and and what are the benefits of it. The number one reason that we chose to cloth nappy is the environmental reasons. Disposable nappies are so bad for the environment. You go through a ridiculous amount in a year. I don't know exactly how many, but I'll put the number up here. And then along with that, with how many disposables you go through, it is a lot of money. <laughs> disposables are not cheap. You'll know this if you have a baby, if you've had a newborn, and it really, really adds up. When you're first buying your cloth nappies, it can be a bit pricey. It is a big upfront cost. You save money within a matter of months. River very rarely gets rashes. I think because he feels the wetness sooner so we seem to change him more often which isn't a hassle for us and it means we don't really use nappy cream very often at all because he never has rashes. He's always perfectly clean down there. We live in Australia and it's warm a lot of the time here. So River basically just lives in his nappy and cloth nappies are so much cuter than disposables. They're like their own little outfit. And there's so many different patterns and colors you can get or you can just choose to go plain. And I have heard, I don't know this for sure because River's not at the potty training stage yet, but I have heard using cloth nappies helps with potty training later on because your baby can feel that they're wet. So they're more aware of their own body and they can recognize when they go to the toilet. I don't know how true that is, but I guess we're gonna find that out. <laughs> how to get started. This is the most daunting part because there is a lot of information out there. There's a lot of different ways that you can do cloth nappies. It can be very, very overwhelming. There are also tons and tons of different brands and that can be overwhelming in itself. The thing that I found helped when I was first starting out is I joined a bunch of groups on Facebook that talk all about cloth nappies and I read what other mums used in those groups, what the benefits were, what the disadvantages were of each brand. I found ideally we started with around 20 nappies and I got around five to eight of a few different brands just to try them out, see what I liked. And then I built up my stash from there based on what I did like. And I think I have around maybe 35 to 40 nappies now, which I find really, really works for my wash routine and my baby. There's also absolutely no pressure to jump into 100% cloth nappies right from the start. I did not want to get newborn nappies and toddler nappies or like older baby nappies because you can get one size fits most nappies. And I thought, what's the point in getting newborn ones when he might only be in that for a month or so. He was born quite small. So we started out with disposables. Also, when I was recovering from birth and I was learning how to be a mum for the first time, the last thing I wanted to be doing was doing a lot of washing and figuring out cloth nappies as well. So there is absolutely no pressure. If you want to start on disposables and then slowly change into cloth nappies, or even if you want to do cloth nappies part-time, disposables part-time, what Ever works for you using cloth nappies will reduce how many disposables you use no matter how much you use cloth nappies so like I said there are so many different types of nappies and it can be really overwhelming honestly I don't even know all the different types of nappies I know that you have your all-in-ones your one size fits most your size specific ones your pocket nappies I again went on these Facebook groups I'm gonna link all these Facebook groups in the description as well so you can join them if you're wanting to find out more. Before having River, I had decided that pocket nappies were what I wanted to do. So that's basically where the nappy has this pocket on the inside. So this is the nappy, this is the back of the nappy. You get your insert and you stuff it inside the pocket like so. So you've got the insert in the pocket here and it just goes on your baby normally. So I thought this is what I was gonna use. I very quickly realized I don't wanna do that it's time consuming to stuff the pockets and I found it kind of pointless. So I literally will get the nappy and lay the insert on the inside of the nappy and then just put it on my baby like that. Just make sure it's not bunched. And I found that that was a lot easier. Didn't take nearly as much time because I didn't have to be stuffing nappies. We also got all one size fits most. So this is one size fits most. And you can see here 
but it has these rise snaps as well as the waist snaps. So when you have a really small baby, you put it on the highest rise snap and it makes your nappy shorter. So we found that these were the best for starting out because they are going to fit until he's out of nappies. As I said before, there are so many different brands that you can get and yeah, it can be really overwhelming. So I started out with four different brands and I've stuck with those four and I have my favorites for sure. So we got some of these eco naps. Their designs are so beautiful. That was what really lured me to them in the first place. They also are very well made. They include a bamboo insert that clips in at the back here. They're also a pocket nappy if you wanted to do that. You can see the pocket here. I will say these were my favorite when River was younger because they fit him from very young. But as he has grown, he is a chunky legged baby and these are not made for babies that are chunky. They seem to just be way too tight on his legs, even on the loosest setting. And I honestly think he's probably gonna grow out of them before he's even out of nappies. The inserts are bamboo and they're so nice and absorbable, but you can kind of see they do get a bit warped as you wash them. So they don't really sit flat, which I don't love. We have had a few leaks in eco naps because the inserts go a little bit warped so they don't cover every Thing, if that makes sense. Eco naps are also on the pricey side when it comes to cloth nappies. They go for $34.95 a nappy. You can bundle them and get discounts. Another one that we've tried is Bear and Boho. These ones, again, were my favorite at the start and then have slowly become some of my least favorite. What I really love about these is that the legs have these double gussets if you can see that there, which is similar to disposable nappies. I don't think I've ever had a leak in Bear and Boho nappies. The inserts are also interestingly shaped. You can see they kind of have these stretchy wings on the side here, which again, I think is why we haven't had any leaks because it kind of molds to your baby and they clip in at the back here too. Similarly to eco naps, they just seem to be a little bit too tight on him as he's gotten older and chunkier. What I also loved about Bear and Boho is that they have a bunch of inserts that you can buy separately. Separately. So these inserts come with the nappy, but then I also got some of their trifolds, which I used at nighttime for a bit and they're super absorbent. And you have the option of bamboo or hemp. Bear and Boho are quite expensive too. They are $34.95 a nappy as well. And you can also get a discount if you buy more. Now getting into my favorite brands, Mama Koala is one of my staples. We have so many Mama Koala nappies. I think they make up at least half of my stash and they have so many different patterns as well. I found that the Mama Koalas just have fit really well in every stage of River's life. And I haven't had any complaints about them, honestly. They are so good. They also have options for a microfiber insert or a bamboo. 100% go with the bamboo. The microfiber is cheaper. They're not as absorbent. And I also find that River will get rashes if we use the microfiber too much. You can get these on Amazon or I got mine off of a website called Green Things and they're valued at around $19.99 a nappy, which is pretty good. And my other favorites are the pandas from Love Me Eco. These ones are very similar to Mama Koala. They're kind of built the same. These ones do have a pocket as well. Bamboo inserts included. Again, they just seem to fit River at every stage. They fit him so nicely now and they're definitely going to fit him until he's toilet trained. These ones value the uh, $29.95 a nappy. I do have a discount code for this brand though. It is Jesse 10 to get 10% off. We also got some swim nappies when we were starting out. My advice, do not bother with the swim nappies. Just use the nappies you already have. Take the inserts out and then there's your swim nappy. That is literally all you need. Other essentials when it comes to cloth nappies are wet bags. These are so handy. Even if you're not doing cloth nappies, these are just really handy to have for babies in general. They're these waterproof bags. And what we use these for is when we're out and about, I put clean nappies in this pocket here. And then once I've used the nappy, it gets put in this big pocket and you zip it up and it keeps all the smells, any wetness, all contained in here. And then when you get home, you can take them out and wash them and just chuck this in with the nappies too. These are also great to take to the beach if you're gonna put like wet clothes in there or whatever. I always have one of these in my nappy bag and in my beach bag. I got that one from Eco Naps, so that's quite a big one. And then I also have a few 
smaller ones that I use for wipes or if I only need a couple of nappies when I'm out and about. Now cloth wipes. We find it really easy to use cloth wipes alongside cloth nappies because you literally just chuck them in the wash with the cloth nappies. I got a bunch from Bear and Boho because they're just a nice size and they're this really soft material but you do not need to spend very much money on wipes at all you can literally just get like flannel ones from the dollar shop or whatever and making my cloth wipes is super easy I just use a plastic container and I do a mixture of one part coconut oil to one part baby wash to about four parts hot water and I mix that together and then I accordion fold my wipes which I'll show in a video here and put them in the container and then pour the solution over the top and then those are my wipes they usually last around three days and they're very gentle and soft on his skin they feel much nicer than disposable wipes. Now lastly I will talk about our wash routine. There are so many ways you can do this. The most valuable resource you can use when it comes to washing your cloth nappies is cleanclothnappies.com. You can get a membership for their for like I think it's like $15 a year or something or you can use their Facebook group and most of the information you can find on there for free using the search bar. So I have a front loader which I have found is the best when you're using cloth nappies. I have used a top loader before and it, it does not do as good of a job. In my opinion, the top loaders just don't get hot enough and don't create enough agitation with the nappies, which is what cleans them. My favorite detergent to use is dirt detergent. We're actually out of that at the moment. I was trying BioZet to see if I like that more. And once I've used that up, I will be going back to dirt. Um, we also use a vanish booster. For exclusively breastfed babies, you don't need to get rid of the poop. So once your baby has done a poop or a wee or whatever, you literally just take the nappy off of them, put it in a dry pail, which is an open container of some sort. We have these plastic containers with holes in the side. Put it in your laundry, in a well-ventilated space, and it does not smell. If it does smell, you might need to get a better ventilated space or get a different container. You don't want to put a lid on this. You don't want to rinse them or anything. Just put them in the dry pail until you do the pre-wash. For babies that are on solids, you do need to get rid of the poop. So you will want to plop it in the toilet and scrape off any excess with toilet paper. Or if you have a little toilet hose, use that. And then dry pail, just like I explained before. So for cloth nappies, you need to do two washes, a pre-wash to get rid of all of the urine and poop that's left over, and then a main wash to actually clean them. So for my pre-wash, I do it every one to two days. Um, so you load in your nappies, both the shells and the inserts. You don't need to separate them. And I also chuck wipes in with this wash too. And then I use half a scoop of Biazet and half a scoop of Vanish. I do a 60 minute cycle at 60 degrees Celsius. When that cycle is done, I put it in a different clean dry pail until I do the main wash. So main washes I end up doing every three to four days when I have enough nappies to fill at least three quarters of my machine. Load size for your main wash is really important. It doesn't really matter for your pre-wash, but for your main wash, you want enough nappies to create agitation between them to actually clean them, but you don't want too many nappies that they're not gonna move around very much. You can also bulk up your main wash with burp cloths or tea towels, nothing too big that gets tangled around the nappies, but things that are similar size to your nappies. So for my main wash, I load in all the nappies and wipes from the pre-wash dry pail, and then I use half a scoop of Biozet, and I choose a cotton cycle at 40 degrees with the soak function. Once this cycle is done, I line dry my inserts out in the sun and I dry my shells in the shade on a clothesline. You want to do this in the shade because being out in the sun can damage your shells. And that is my whole wash routine. It can be really daunting starting out, but honestly, try something out and if it doesn't work, then adjust your washing routine, try different detergents, just see what works for your machine. I think I think that's just about everything. I feel like I've been talking for hours. Um, if you have any questions at all about cloth nappies or anything, leave them down below and I'll get back to you. Don't put too much pressure on yourself, especially if this is your first time having a baby. It's already daunting enough. You don't need to put, be putting all this pressure on yourself. There are so many different ways to do it. This is not the only way. River woke up right at the end of this, so he's here to say goodbye. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Golden.